A rock looks so still, but is it? The rock is made of tiny, invisible particles called molecules. These molecules vibrate rapidly. The molecules are made of atoms. In the atoms, electrons whiz around at tremendous speeds. There is plenty of motion in the rock and in everything else, and that motion is energy. <laughs> Stars and waterfalls, motors and bouncing balls, sunlight and sound and air. Moving continually, are proving conclusively, motion, motion everywhere. Rocks and minerals, insects and animals have one thing that they all share. Moving continually, they're proving conclusively, motion, motion everywhere. Clouds and jumping beans, roses and evergreens, dishes and silverware. Moving continually, are proving conclusively, motion, motion everywhere. Take a look at me, what are you sure to see? Muscle, skin and teeth and hair. Moving continually, they're proving conclusively, motion, motion everywhere. Scientists say that all matter is in constant motion. What they mean is that atoms which are the building blocks of all matter are in constant motion. Of course, these atoms don't make a large rock like the rock of Gibraltar wiggle as in this picture. What scientists mean is that the tiny particles in the rock are moving. We can't see these particles move even under a very good microscope. In 1827, Robert Brown observed that pollen grains floating in water moved in a jerky but random fashion. Many scientists might have stopped there and concluded that pollen grains move because they were alive. However, Robert Brown was a careful scientist. He used tiny particles of non-moving matter to show that these particles moved in a similar way. This motion became known as Brownian motion. This graph shows how the motion of a single particle might look. Scientists speculated that this motion might be caused by the movement of water molecules. However, there was no proof of this until in 1905 Albert Einstein used a mathematical process called a random walk to show that the particles moved as if they were being struck by many smaller particles. This was the first proof that tiny particles such as atoms were in constant motion. Powered by thermal energy, molecules are constantly in motion, called Brownian motion, which allows them to diffuse through cells in a random walk. Our simulation shows the degree to which a small sugar molecule on the left and a larger protein on the right explore the interior space of a cell, here shown as a cube with a 10 micrometer side. The animation represents one second in real time. Note that the paths of the molecules in the second simulation are different from those in the first, thus showing the randomness of Brownian motion.
we are watching a stop action video of dust moving in the air. We have all seen this in our homes. Many have wondered how this could occur. Men such as Robert Brown and Albert Einstein use such observations to discover that all matter is in motion. What other discoveries are right before our eyes?